Hey, what's going on everybody? It's uh, Joe here with Derange. So I am out at Sand Hollow with the boys. They actually went home for the day. Uh, but we just finished a day of uh, rock crawling in the Pro XP. We also filmed uh, and did some testing on the Kraftwerk Supercharger. So Garrett, well, I'm sure we'll have done a video by now. Uh, so check out the, uh, the link below for that video for our thoughts on the Kraftwerks uh, Supercharger. But while we were out rock crawling today, Garrett's machine has a little bit of an advantage over the Pro XP and actually any razor uh, and a variety of other machines. And that is Garrett's machine has a parking brake. So it was abundantly clear today as we're out rock, rock crawling uh, that parking brakes are something that should come on all machines, but don't, uh, but are desperately needed in the uh, the razor line especially. So there were probably a dozen times where I had to park in a similar situation to this, where I'm either downhill or uphill and uh, I'm at an angle. And then when I get back in the machine and get ready to go, I jump in, uh, go to pull it out of park and put it in gear and it's bam, just, you know, bad hard noise on the transmission. So obviously you want to try to park on level of ground anytime you can, but there are situations and there were today on the trail where you just plain can't. So the line stops in front of you and you're in a, at an angle and it is what it is. So uh, there is a solution for that. And I wanted to share this solution with you guys. So this is not a sponsorship or anything else. We don't even sell these things, but they are great. And uh, there's something that you should be putting on your razor. Uh, or just about any other machine. The only machines that they um, don't really do them for, obviously the KRX, I think they have 13 different models. I was talking to uh, Daryl, the inventor and uh, owner of this, and uh, he mentioned there's 13 different models. So the way that he came up with it is basically somebody uh, had a machine that was parked on uh, a downhill uh, and the machine rolled away uh, while it was in park, just went through the gears, rolled away, and uh, bye bye machine. So after that happened, he invented what he calls the spring brake thingy. So let's check out the spring brake thingy so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, I'm not sure about the angle here, but let me uh, get down in the shadows, I guess, a little bit here. But the spring brake thingy basically allows you to push your brake all the way down and then lock your brake into place. So you can see right now I have the, uh, the Pro XP on a bit of an angle. Um, I have the spring, spring brake thingy uh, in use or active or whatever you want to call it. So let's uh, take a look at what it looks like. So here is what it looks like down here. It's super quick install. I asked him to install it for me. It literally took about a minute and a half. He pulled off those two bolts uh, one at a time, put it on and uh, bingo, done. So all it happens is, or all you do is you push down the brake, you kick that over with your foot and you're good to go. Um, it will hold it down just as if you're holding the brake all the way down to the bottom. So a couple of quick things about Daryl and their company in, in Spring Brake Thingy. Uh, number one, they are a small American made local company here in Utah. Um, good people uh, and they make a great product. So one thing that is frustrating for people like them, uh, and trust me, there's many out there, are Chinese imposters or people that steal an invention or an idea and, uh, and put it on Amazon or anywhere else and steal their basically intellectual property and uh, just put it out there. And basically they're stealing business from them when they have no right to. So um, that sometimes happens to spring break thingy. So what I will say is buy it directly from them. I'll leave a link uh, in the description down below if you're interested in a spring break thingy. Click on the link, go to their website and buy it. Um, again, this is not a sponsorship. This is a recognition of a great product from a great local company. So um, check it out. So another great feature actually uh, to mention on this is on most models, I think any model but a Can-Am X3, I believe it is. Um, you also have the option to put a padlock through your brake when it's connected. So I'll try to show you down here. You can see right here, this little hole if it'll focus that little hole right there, you can just put a padlock directly through and lock it down. So when that's useful, obviously, honestly, if you park it in your garage and you don't wanna, you wanna have the extra security that it's not getting stolen, there you go. Anytime you're putting it on a trailer or transporting it anywhere, there you go. Put it on the, uh, put it on the, uh, put the spring brake thingy on, put the padlock, padlock on, and the sucker's not rolling away unless somebody gets it off. So 
Um, that's it. That's the spring brake thingy. I wanted to give you one more quick angle real quick so you can see any time that you have to park on this, um, you're going to want to use it. So great product from a great local company. Again, I'll leave a, a link in the description down below. Check it out. Before I go, I want to show you what it looks like in action. So while I was at their booth today, they had a little demo unit and they were demonstrating the product for us. So as you can see, you push it all the way down, you kick it over with your foot, easy as that, lickety split. And like I said, there's that additional spot for the paddle lock. So again, great people, great uh, local Utah company, American made company, uh, cheap upgrade, 70 bucks ish, somewhere in the ballpark, that's what we got it for at the show. My guess is probably 79 or something on the website, who knows. But either way, it's worth it. Cheap upgrade to save your uh, gearing in your transmission and whatnot um, and keep you from having to jam in and out of park or, uh, or whatever when you're on the trail. So guys, that's it uh, for this one. This is short and quick. Uh, appreciate spring break thingy. Uh, we paid for that. They didn't give it to us. We bought it, put it on because we love the idea. So we appreciate you watching. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave some comments down below. If you have a spring break thingy, let us know down below. Appreciate it, guys. We'll uh, see you on the next one. Marcel's got his own language. Oh, he was. <laughs> his role was just a wheelie. We had to take him on all of our rides. He's done a lot. <laughs>